little bit of a different look for the Musketeers today. They're rocking their running man uniforms. Their throwbacks in the days of the early 80s to mid 90s. Always a special event when they throw on the old school unis. As we are all Brings set to go. Memories of Byron Larkin, Tyrone Hill, Kobe Jones in his second season has such great feel. You don't hear that from a lot of young players. Great feel for the game. O'Connell, another extra pass. And this opens up again with two hands to O'Connell. A couple of easy takes for the Blue Jays. And Kalkbrenner, another block. It's a 9 nothing Creighton mm. lead. Kalkbrenner up top. Make it 11 nothing Creighton run. As you see the missed layup replay from Jones. Keep in mind the four point loss. Mm. Good fadeaway knocked down by Nimard. O'Connell probing, steps back, fades, and hits. Mm. Nate Johnson picks up his first foul for Xavier. Hawkins launches, and he hits his second triple. Yeah, you, you don't want to go in there off of one foot against Juan Odom. One of the better defenders picks the in the pockets. Conference. And Nimhard finishes at the rim. Hulk Brunner back to the basket. O'Connell straightaway triple, and he hits. Greg McDermott has a, a full bag of that. <laughs> Turnover. Nimhard with the left hand. There you go. O'Connell hunts the wing three, and go. he knocks down his second. Nimhard steps back. The putback is good. Kaluma was right there, and that's how the first half ends. Hardly any fouls for Xavier in the first half. That's the second today for Scruggs. Nimard finds an angle, gets fouled. You can count it. A chance for three. But he shows you there the last two plays still a great ability to find some seams. A backdoor dish. And Creighton with the lead nearly all afternoon. What an answer, Ryan Nimard. Tight space there. Scruggs was about a foot and a half away from his, his partner. Zach Fremantle had to go up really quick. I don't think it was in rhythm. Hawkins mm. with the lay-in. Blue has checked in for Creighton. Hawkbrenner is out. Let's see if Xavier can take advantage of that offensively. A foul, and you can count it. Trey Alexander, he joins the party for the first time today. Nemar pulls up and hits. Beautiful completion to this building, if you will. Almost like an NBA arena. Hawkins takes a deep straightaway three, and he knocks down his third triple of the day. O'Connell trying to answer, and he does. What a day for Alex O'Connell. He has 17. Yeah, it took about less than a minute after halftime to realize what the strategy from Travis Steele is going to be in the second half, and that is attack the paint. And that's exactly what they've done. O'Connell heaves it through. Alexander sprints it across. Time of the essence, and he buries it. In the first half, that was led nearly the entire way by Creighton. Xavier's half was the second. And number 17, Xavier, takes down the Creighton Blue Jays, 80-73 for Cincinnati.